Hey y'all, welcome back to the DG Outdoors channel. So I picked up a new crossbow last night. Well, it's not exactly new, but it's new to me. Went to a pawn shop, and uh, they had, for $100, a Horton Summit 150 HD compound crossbow. I've always, yeah, it's still got the tag on it. I've always wanted a compound crossbow. Uh, the other crossbow I have is the SA Sports Empire Craze, and it's a hybrid recurve, so it's got little rollers in the limbs and not really cams or wheels or anything like this one does. Um, the, I got that last year around Christmas time, so that review's on my channel and me shooting it, and that's a 175 pound like recurve crossbow. But anyways, guys, back to this. This is a 150 pound full compound crossbow. It's 11 years old, guys, and I can tell you from looking at this thing, it's only been shot like once or twice. The string is in perfect condition. No phrase whatsoever. The serving's not messed up. Um, I've done a little bit of research last night on this, and this shoots 260 feet a second, they claim. So it's a low velocity crossbow, which is okay with me. It does come with three arrows. Now these are Horton uh, Lightning Strike MXs. I believe that's what they're called. Okay, and these two arrows are brand new clean. Nothing, you can tell they haven't been shot at all. Um, yeah, Lightning Strike uh, MXs. And I don't know why the camera just glitched, so I hope you guys couldn't see that. But uh, these are aluminum arrows, and they came with this. So when this thing came out like 11 years ago, which I think came out like 2010, now it'll be 12 years now. Um, this was a... $450 crossbow. Horton went out of business in 2013. Um, and I think I got a really good deal on this crossbow. Now, the only issue I can see right here, guys, it does have a sight pin on it. This is a little loose. I, I don't want to strip the screws right here and try to tighten them up anymore. Um, but it is in real tree hardwoods. Camo, real tree hardwoods. Green? Or no, this real tree, real tree hardwood HD. Um, the thing that's really, really neat, it's got like a ghost ring sight right here. So you can look down and actually line up that sight pin really comfortably. Right here though, you guys, I'm gonna get really close to the camera. So I want you guys to be able to see this. If I twist right here, watch that sight. The sight moves up and down. Didn't know if you guys could see that or not. Um, but it is adjustable. It did come with a uh, Barnett rope cocker. Still got the original tag that would have came on here from Tylon Custom Trigger. So this has like a special trigger on it. And I just think it's a really good deal. I need to lube the, the railing on it right here. Some lube. I got some Allen lube over there for railing for my other crossbow. Wax the string, definitely. I got to wax the string. Um, there's no chips. There's no scuffs. Um, the foot stirrups in there tight. The only issue I set is seen is right here. I mean, for a 12-year-old crossbow, I'm not complaining. This thing is super light. Super light, super, I mean, just no weight whatsoever. Super comfortable. Um, really bright fiber optic green sight pin. I don't know. If, I know you guys can see the sight pin. So, yes, this is still rocking the sight pin. Um, the thing is, though, if I went to put a... I don't know if this thing just slides off of here, and then I can put a red dot on there I've seen some other models that came with red dots I think you can hook a crank to this I'm not really sure again I walked into the pawn shop looking for a laptop uh, me and Mamie 98 wanted laptops that have disk drives and we found two of them I wasn't planning on buying another crossbow I've only shot the other one I have a handful of times because it's hard for me to pull um, but um, I'm going to leave a link down in the description of a video from a man named Hootie Who. 
Okay, and he has a firearms YouTube channel. But he does an old crossbow from like 1994 versus a newer crossbow. And I just love watching that video. I've watched it probably 10 times. Leave that link. I'll leave the links to my other crossbow videos that I have also. Um, I'll even throw the crossbow hunt in there even though I didn't see anything. I'll, I'll throw that one in there. Um, but yeah, I'm... I'm excited to try to shoot this. Probably ain't going to shoot it anytime soon. It's really, really cold. It was 6 degrees yesterday morning. Um, and, uh, yeah. I don't know any more about this um, crossbow. I don't know if I mentioned that in The Walking Dead that uh, Daryl Dixon used a Horton crossbow in like the first three seasons of The Walking Dead. And then they switched over to like a Sniper 370, maybe, I believe. Something close to that. Um, but, yep, got me another crossbow and it's in really, really good shape. So... I'm really happy. I mean, it came with stock arrows that originally came on it. It came with stock everything, even down to the sight pins and the sight. It's just, look, no weight to it whatsoever, guys. I mean, I'm literally holding it in my hand. I'm ready to rock. So, y'all remember, like, comment, subscribe. Jesus loves you. And I will see you guys on the next one. Thanks for watching.